Today I will be explaining you about the Wilden pump problem uh, normally faced on board ship. This is the Wilden pump. I am opening the cover here. This is the moving piston. This normally this moving piston gets stuck. So if you are running the Wilden pump regularly, put some oil on the moving piston. I am opening this component to show you how it works. There is a moving piston. There is a spool here which will be moving. I can see on both sides that covers so you can open and clean this if you put some oil and uh, ease up the piston this will start working so this is one part of the moving part where it need to be cleaned regularly since it's made of aluminium so it should be painted regularly so that it doesn't uh, get pit, pit mark due to sea water so most of the aluminium uh, get corroded by the reaction with sea water so you can see the movement of the piston here they should move freely if this piston is moving freely then you will be able to run the welding pump this is one part of the problem so if you are able to move this yep, the welding pump should work this is one if you still have problem welding pump not working then you can check the diaphragm I will be opening the Wilden pump for you to show you the diaphragm part of the Wilden pump. So this is normally the cause. You, you can see this is the plastic piece you can see here. This is on both the sides. So you just put both the sides this uh, uh, plastic cover which is provided here. It's like acting like a piston here. So you can see a central hole. So it, there should not be any dust. And the piston should move freely. Once it is there, then you tighten it. You got the diaphragm here. This is the block, and this is the piston which I am talking about. So you can just open the top cover and put little bit oil. And this is other part of the Wilden pump. You can see here. This is the air inlet, and this is the top I am opening. This is the ball. You can see here. This is all made of Teflon. Make sure just check whether all the uh, pipes are clear without any rags or something to make sure this is working if this is okay then you can see uh, how it the you can see the balls on the discharge side and this is the diaphragm here we got two diaphragms on both the sides you can see remove it carefully if the diaphragm is broken then also your Wilden pump will not work so this is the diaphragm here you can see the diaphragm is perfectly all right so once I clean the piston, it was moving all right. Wilden pump not working. Then I open the diaphragm here. The diaphragm is perfectly all right, no cracks. So I remove the diaphragm here, both the sides. So you can see here, uh, this diaphragm uh, has no cracks and all. So make sure uh, it is in perfect order. You can see the p moving. Diaphragm will move here. And there is a pin here. You can see here. This is a spool piece here. So the diaphragm will move both sides in and out. So I am removing it to show you the full assembly. You can see a, a sp moving spool here. Uh, you can see the diaphragms are okay without any problem. You can see a spool here. This sh spool should move on both the sides. When the diaphragm is moving, it needs to move in and out. If that is not moving, then it will not work. So whole thing I am showing you, you got the two covers here, diaphragm here, one diaphragm here, so you got two diaphragms, then you have the balls on both the section which I have. This is the spool piece which I am talking about, which should move freely. If this is not moving, uh, one time the spool diaphragm will push this side and the second time it will push on the other side. So this should move freely. If this is not working, then your Wilden pump will not work. So if the spool piece is working, then it's okay. I'm trying to assemble it now. Once you assemble it, try it out. If everything is okay, and then it should work. In our case, what happened was uh, the pist piston was okay, cleared, diaphragm is okay, everything found in order. But what happened was the spool piece. I will show you the spool piece which is there. You can see this is the piece. The spool piece will be inside this. This is the one which is moving, which I showed you before. From the outside you push it, the spool piece move. There are o-rings here, you can see. 
this is already you can see the cover and everything leaking you can see the three o-rings here so I will explain you how the whole piece is working here you can see here this is our inlet side then you got one hole here one hole here one more one more there are four holes and the fifth hole is here when the spool piece moves the air will come in from one side then push the diaphragm then again it will push the diaphragm on the other sides so if this is the one thing which you should be remembering this need to move freely put some oil and all you can see the uh, it's coming inside the pin you can see which moves the spool so you can see this is what th this component will be going inside here this is like this so the spool piece is inside and will be pushed by the pin the pin which I showed you pushing from both the sides those pins are inside here that can be uh, clean if these things are okay then it will work you can see the spool piece here there is one spool piece here and one more here so make sure all the holes are clear and if you have any doubt regarding the operation part of it you can message me thank you